Technology is changing faster than society is. We want you to look at technology as a new tool, and a new tool to use in the classroom, new tool to use on the job site. Today's students expect to learn anything, anytime, anywhere, on any device. In the spring of 2020, every UA Master instructor attended a three-day reboot of their syllabus and lesson plan. There comes a point in time where we all need to get our battery recharged. The way we taught 15 years ago is not applicable today. The learner is different. People learn in a different way now. If we're going to have a younger, more technologically in tune student, uh, we're going to need to be up to speed on the technology in order to to get things across to them. My generation came up during the technology boom, so every time something new comes out, we want to know about it, we want to learn about it. Their language is ones and zeros. If we're not in a stream of ones and zeros on their device, then we're invisible. The goals? Normalizing the use of technology in every UA classroom, and more importantly, on every job site. In other words, beginning with the end in mind. It was very apparent that we have to, as an organization, invest in the future. The piping industry is ever-changing, and the way that we instruct also needs to change. We sell our training, our ability to do a better job, to be the smartest, safest, most productive worker on the job site. We've had a great system in place for many years at ITP Week in Ann Arbor. And sometimes the best way to improve a system is to stop it and restart it again. The UA's never done this. We're here to take that program to the next level. Using Revit and Iris VR, you can become essentially a video game maker. So you can create your own building, your own 3D environment. There are opportunities to use BIM and CAD and virtual reality. All of that stuff is out there that they can start to bring into their class. ITP is going to look different, it's going to feel different, and it's going to be challenging. There's a way to embrace it no matter what area of the piping industry you're dealing with. Um, you can always implement different types of technology for the courses that you're teaching. As our presenters or our teachers are in the class showing us what's new, it sparks off one question, brings another question, and it just improves, it challenges them. All right, well, this is what we'd like to see too. So it, it challenges everybody. Challenging everybody is what this ITP reboot was all about. Veterans and new instructors alike came away with new tools and some things they may not have expected. There is no doubt, I personally will change my teaching style, and I've already talked to other students who are also going to change their style immediately. That's what the UA is about. We always want to step out of our comfort zone and, and progress and get better and better. It's going to be a challenge to the people that walking in from, from locals that they may say, gee, we haven't done this before. How can we do this at home? So if it happens in Ann Arbor, we have the best opportunity for it to happen in every local in the U.S. and Canada. And then the contractor will benefit from it. Our customers collectively will benefit from it. And that's the bottom line. The reason for this reboot and why we're beginning with the end in mind, positioning the next generation of UA craftsmen and signatory contractors for the best opportunities to win future projects. If we don't embrace that technology, someone is going to embrace it for us and, and we will be left in the dust. When we hit the, uh, the Ann Arbor town, we'll be motivated, inspired, and we'll have new tools to bring to the table. I'm an old dog, and yet here I am wanting to know and how to make myself better so that I can share that information with the young men and women that are going to carry on the torch of the UA for uh, for the uh, many hundreds of years. And what I hope that they take away from this is that they're a part of something bigger than themselves. And if they can change one person's life and give them the opportunity to do that also for somebody, we'll be able to be around for another 130 years. <laughs>